Hello, everybody. Um, my name is Gustav, and I'm 10 years old. And I'm here to speak about my channel and how it came to be and my story. So this is my favorite video, just to show you an example of what my channel is about. Hello everybody, welcome to the 14th episode of Gus Map. Today we will be discussing Fibonacci numbers. I'm sorry I've been inactive for so long, it's just because it's been summer vacation and we're just relaxing here at Saima. So, what are Fibonacci numbers? Some of you might wonder who Fibonacci is. Well, he was an Italian mathematician from Pisa uh, and he lived during the late uh, 1100s and died during the early 1200s. He was also known as Leonardo of Pisa, uh, and that might sound a bit like Leonardo da Vinci, but he actually lived 300 years before Leonardo da Vinci. Uh, I'm using an old blackboard to show you how the Fibonacci uh, numbers work. So, um, As you can see, it looks like a little bit like a spiral. So from here, around, and up there. So this is how it works. Beginning, there's one and one here. One plus one equals two, which goes here. And then, uh, this is how Fibonacci works. So you uh, get rid of the one here, so this doesn't count anymore. Then you add one plus two, then three here. And then you add, then you get rid of this one, then you add 2 plus 3, 5, then you get rid of the 2, then 3 plus 5, 8, get rid of the 3, and that's how you continue. So 5 plus 8, 13, get rid of the 5, 8 plus 13, 21, get rid of the 8, uh, 30, 13 plus 21, 34, that's how you continue. And how to measure like which stage of Fibonacci. So this one at the very beginning is F0. And then this uh, second one is F1. Then this two is F2. Three is F3. And the five is F4. And it continues like that. And as we go along, uh, it gets, the numbers get bigger, faster, like with doubling, and at F20, this is not F20, uh, it's 6,765, and uh, adding that with F19, it's uh, 4,141, and then if you add F19 and F20, that's already more than 10 and then you add 6,765 with more than 10,000, and that's 16,000, and then it goes faster and faster. So, yeah, Fibonacci numbers, they grow faster once you get farther. Some examples from nature, most flowers have uh, as many petals as the Fibonacci numbers. Lilies have three flower petals. Uh, roses have five, and delphinium have eight, and, so, and marigolds have 13. And then it continues, and there are lots of flowers that have the, these numbers. Uh, petals. That means the laws of math and uh, applied in flowers and nature in general, which is awesome. And uh, that makes uh, the Fibonacci numbers a cool math concept. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you liked it, please leave a like and a comment down below. Uh, if you want to see more of my videos, please subscribe. I'm so excited for school to begin, and I'm going to make sure to make more videos. Thanks for watching. Bye. So...
that was just a little example. Um, so this is basically how I got the idea to start a channel about math. So first I had to be born, obviously. Uh, then I moved to California in 2012 when I was six years old because my dad went to Stanford from Skype and so my family moved with him. So I basically started school with my dad and I started at Escondido Elementary. Uh, I discovered YouTube when we moved to the US and I watched a lot of YouTube videos. So I got the idea of making my own videos. Um, why exactly do I do math videos? Well, originally when I did videos, uh, when I wanted to do videos, I wanted to do gaming videos, like some YouTubers I had been watching. Uh, but my dad said that there were already too many gaming videos on YouTube, and I agreed. So I decided to do math videos, because at the time I used Khan Academy, and it really amazed me. Khan Academy is this website where everyone can do math and learn to code and things like that. So I just decided to do math videos. Oh, and the part of science uh, comes from when I was in second grade. Uh, my teacher, Miss Nita, her husband was a Nobel Prize winner, and he came into class to talk about space. So that made me want to do science videos also. So this is my first video. It appeared in October 2014. As you can see, a lot of things are really different here because uh, I didn't really know how to film well and all those things. So. Welcome to the first episode of Kids Math. Today we will be learning two different ways to add numbers. Let's add two three-digit numbers that re make regrouping. 267, for example, maybe. Then we add 957. Then, then 7 plus 7 is 14. You take, take the 4, put it here. Then... The one you put here, a one plus six plus five is twelve, and you do the same thing here. You put the two here and the one here, and then one plus two plus nine is also twelve. So you take the two and the one since there's no room here. That was one way, but here's the other way. Let's use the same numbers we used last time. Two hundred and sixty-seven plus nine hundred and fifty-seven. Now, 200 plus 900 is 1,100. 60 plus 50 is 110. 7 plus 7 is 14. Now, we add these numbers. 1,100 plus 110 is 1,210. 1,210 plus 14 equals 1,224, which is our answer. Those are the two different ways to add numbers. Please subscribe to my channel and I will make new videos soon. So, as you can see, uh, that was a little bit worse than some of my newer videos. Um, you might have heard in the beginning I said kids math. Uh, that was the original name for the channel. I changed it because one, uh, kids math was already taken, and two, I just wanted to make it Gus math because it's me, Gustav, talking about the channel. Um, uh, one of my friends commented, Gustav, that is so cool on my video, and it made me really happy and wanted to make uh, made me do more videos. Uh, the logo also came as feedback from the first video uh, from a friend, Big Phil, in uh, California. So he was, my dad went to the Sloan Business Group in uh, Stanford, and he was one of the people there. So, and he was an artist, so he designed me this logo. Uh, it's a character called Strawberry Duck, so basically that's what it looks like. Um, yeah, so lots of people like my videos, and I just wanted to do more. I have a few ways of picking the topics for my videos. Uh, probably the most common is my math teacher 
talks about different ways of doing math in class. And I just like them, and I do videos about them. Uh, the second most common is things my classmates suggest. Um, uh, one of my classmates suggested I should do periodic table videos, so I just did one. And uh, the third one is feedback from viewers. I really haven't gotten a lot of that yet, but I hope to soon so I can get more ideas because right now I'm kind of running out. Um, one of my videos I got uh, with my electricity set that I got for my birthday, I just really enjoyed playing with it, so I just decided to uh, make a video about it. Here are some statistics about my channel. Uh, in the first episode, I didn't really get many views. They were mostly my mom and dad's uh, friends who watched it, and they enjoyed it. So I made more videos, and I got more views, and um, eventually I started getting spam. So I deleted some of that. Uh, I have made some episodes in Estonian because uh, my Estonian friends have requested it. So, but I mostly make episodes in English because way more people speak English than Estonian. So, and my sister Etta started her like YouTube series on my channel uh, called Nature with Etta and has made three episodes. She made it because she also wanted to make YouTube videos like me. So I let her just do some videos on my channel. Uh, some guest appearances from left to right. My sister Etta, uh, who has appeared in my multiplication video and in her Nature with Etta videos. My baby brother Ake, who was only for a few seconds in the electricity video. Uh, my friend Amir, uh, who was in the Supernovas video in a clip, and a robot lawnmower from the video in the beginning. <laughs> so, presenting. Uh, first, I got invited to a youth conference, and uh, kind of like this one, uh, to just talk, about, talk to teens about what I was doing and to inspire them to also do things. Then I got invited to be on television in a TV show called Ingvade and uh, to talk about what American and Estonian schools are, what their differences is and what inspired me to do my channel. So I was really nervous, but once I went on TV, I realized it wasn't that bad and I didn't really have any problems on uh, the youth conference. Why is cost math, cost math so important? Uh, my original idea was just that kids can learn easier ways to do math so they don't have any problems doing math in school. But since I got a lot of feedback from adults, uh, that evolved into just anyone being inspired to do their own things and get ideas and broadcasts and tell people about their ideas. So yeah, I hope many of you start doing that in the future. And yeah, thank you, I guess.